like you told me you got men who are literally trying to pursue you and you don't like them, but you would rather, and just be blunt, wait in line. Mm -hmm. Cause that's what it is. You're in queue. You're mm -hmm. in queue with another guy. And, and you would rather be in queue with another guy to see if that can become something opposed to the men who are really going hard to be with you. But I'm not waiting. But so this is the thing. I'm not waiting on him. Then what are you doing if you're not waiting on him to call you? Because you said that you said that you're open to see how that could be turned out. So wouldn't I be waiting on him to call you? All right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again with another episode of Foolery. Here we go. Ladies, our independent, strong, educated, smart, hardworking, integrity, but also sneaky as you know what. This lady comes on Kendra's show. Now, she has a whole little thing lined up. She talking and talking and talking, but she has a hidden agenda. And I'm surprised Kendra didn't call her out on it when it happened, but she came in with all these, you know, the flowers and the good stuff and the blah, blah, blah. And then when Kendra about to go ahead and finish her out, oh, Kendra, by the way, and check out what the by the way is. So this is where we at, guys. So let's just jump right in here, man, and just, just knock it off. I ain't going to talk a lot about this one. Y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe, like, share, that notification bell. Make sure you comment and like, comment and like. That's how the algorithm now is working. So, hey, I need y'all let y'all, I need you all to let me know what you think of this y'all ready let's get it hey girl i love your shirt kendra oh yeah i can't believe you picked me do you want to say that i can't believe you picked me oh my gosh no way oh my goodness yeah. hi kendra hi bo i need to tell my sister i'm on oh my yeah, goodness tell your sister you're on. This is so, my heart is beating so fast. Oh my gosh. Kendra, you picked me. You picked me, girl. You picked me. Let me tell them I'm on Kendra G. Okay, you go. Who, who, who we texting? Who we texting? No, I'm putting it on Facebook. Are oh, you putting it on Facebook? Oh, okay, you putting it on That's Facebook. That's right. You'll tell them, okay, I'm going to let you go ahead. Put it on Facebook, child. Tell them you on right now. She putting it on Facebook, child. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Oh my gosh. My heart is beating out of my stomach, out of my chest. Oh my gosh. Okay, Kendra, I'm ready. You ready? You ready now, honey? Yes, I'm ready. What's your name? Your name is Jacqueline? It is. Where are you calling but me from? South Carolina, but I go by Jackie. Okay, go call you Jackie. South Carolina. Yes. How old are you? 50. One, I'll be 52 on the 22nd. You look really good. Thank you. You'll be 52. So you're a Gemini or a Cancer? First day Cancer. Never a Gemini. That's my Never. sister. <laughs> okay. Do you have any kids? I have two boys, 31 and 23. 31 and 23. Mm -hmm. Jackie, South Carolina. Yeah. She'll be 52 this year. She's a cancer. Two boys. Have you ever been married? Oh, 31, 23. They have the same father? They do not. And I was married for 19 years. Divorced in 2017. You were married for 19 years? Mm-hmm. Why did you divorce after 19 years? Infidelity. How'd you find out? Um, I just, we just did. He cheated. I cheated. Back. Oh, who cheated first? He did. And then you got back. I got my lick. And y'all couldn't work it out after that? I tried. I wanted to, but you know, a year after, not even a whole year after um we got divorced, he got married. 
Why was she smiling like that when she said the stuff about the infidelity? I, you know, she should have just said we didn't work out versus saying we both cheated. And you cheated because he cheated. And then you'll make a uh you'll make a little note that, oh yeah, he got married a year after we got divorced. So what? So what? You're divorced. He could do what he wanna do. What he thought he's supposed to stay and wait for you again? So what? Ladies, y'all, I wanna know why y'all even say stuff like that. But Oh, uh, we got married. Did he marry the woman he cheated on you with? I don't know. He got married three times. Third marriage. So are you the first or the third? Well, what one second. before you? You were second. second. He was married before you. Y'all got married, divorced. Now he's married again. Yeah, but this is not about him, Kendra. Mm -mm. It's not. It's not. How are you going to say it's not about him when you just gave all the information? You sitting up there three, telling how many times the man been married and all... But it ain't about him, Kendra. You wanted people to know that. Why? Weirdo. No, you're right. Nope. Okay, let's go. All right, Jackie, what do you do for a living? I'm a nurse, registered right. nurse. Nurse. So this is Jackie, South Carolina. She'll be 52 yeah. next month. Cancer. She's a nurse. Two boys, 31, 23. All right, honey. Um, would you get married again? Absolutely. Okay. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, loyal. Okay. Um, I just someone that I can have a good time with that's not um dishonest. He needs to have integrity. He needs to be able to communicate effectively. I don't need an emotional, um, unstable man. Okay. No emotional, unstable man. What's some deal breakers? Um, emotionally unstable. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> seriously, seriously. Um, I don't know. Um, you know, I'm looking for a, a deal breaker, a deal breaker. I'm sorry. I don't need a liar. Okay. You can't be married. And when I say you can't be married, I mean, not even separated. You have to be totally divorced. Fair enough. Have to be totally divorced. Okay. Um, does he have to look a certain way? Yeah. I mean, I want someone that, you know, looks, you know, that looks decent. Okay. Um, does he have to make a certain amount of money? Um, he has to be able to take care of himself because I can take care of mine. Myself. Well, a guy at McDonald's could take care of himself. I'm sorry, say that again. A guy that works at McDonald's can take care of himself. Yeah. I'm, I'm so glad she said that. Just so glad. Because all these women keep saying, well, because I take care of myself. He should. You're 52 years old. You shouldn't even be messed with nobody that stay close to that. And if they ain't got nothing going on, you don't need to say it. But man, 45, 48, whatever. You don't need to still say the same thing as if you're talking about a man that's 25 or, or whatever. You know, y'all still say the same thing. You know, if he a man of this, a man of that, and if he can have a job, he can take care of himself. Y'all don't make no freaking sense no more. And I know why, because for some reason, y'all don't think you're getting older. It's like I did a video before. The woman acting like she's in her 20s and she was almost 40. The mentality when y'all talk about things like you're 52, young lady. You don't look bad for 52, but you're 52. You shouldn't even be meeting nobody who don't have a car, a job, and a place. Period. I don't care what circumstances. They should have it. Just my opinion. That's true. That's true. Um, he doesn't have to be. Mm -mm, I'm not going to speak that into existence. Um, I was going to say he. No, I'm not even going to say it. Yeah, he. I mean, he has to at least, you know, make decent money. 
Okay. You know, at least. Go ahead and say it. Six figures or a hundred thousand. Let's hear it. That's I mean, that's the black girl norm now. Everybody gotta make six figures or a hundred thousand. I'll tell you, at least a hundred. At least a hundred. At least at least. Yeah. Okay, at least a hundred. Um, what's the age range you would date? So I'll be fifty two, so I don't know. 47 but you have to be mature if you're 47 and you know i'll go up till to 60 61. okay so i like 60. older guys yeah i like older guys but you know i'm not opposed to um you know dating in the 40s okay does he have to be okay so let's hold up for a sec now she already said a few things but she ain't saying really nothing out of the norm right 52 year old woman said she'll date down to about 45. You know, kind of a little, you know, 45, you're going down. But you don't think too much of it. But I'm just wondering why she went all the way down to 45 and then said you'll date somebody over 60. Hmm. Stick around. Let's see. Got something for you. All right, Jackie, when yeah. was your last relationship? Um, February. Okay, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? February. February. Okay. Um, what are three flaws you believe you need to work on? Okay. So I, I'm very indecisive. Like if I'm in the store, you know, I have to pick between something. I'm very indecisive that way. Very opinionated. And I don't trust easily just because of past relationships. Um, Okay, you don't trust easily. Okay. Um, and why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Because I'm a great girl. I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> everybody says that, right? Um, I'm honest. I have integrity. Um, I have, I'm very self-confident. Um, I just like to have a good time and enjoy. But I don't like BS, Kendra. I'm, I'm, I'm open and honest. And I'm always going to be that. And I don't need anybody to change who I am. I'll be 52 and on the 22nd. And if you can't handle it, then don't come this way. Okay. So, wow. So, um, she has a lot of weird things. Well, let's say I had to write them down. Indecisive. Opinionated. She don't trust. And she has past relationship dramas which causes her to not trust. <laughs> and she's 52 years old and stuck in her ways and refuse to change. Okay, that makes some dudes want to get after her. But, you know, I thought, you know, what's going on with this lady? She's trying to sound like she's trying to give off. Like I said, I think this is more of a like an audition interview type thing. But the thing is, who are you who are you trying to give this message to? And see, when I first heard it, I was like, eh, but then it came in. This is why she is actually on this show. This is why she is talking the way she's talking and going down to age 45 to date. Check out what she about to say. Thank you, Kendra. I love Can I tell you something? Kendra, let me tell you something. Yeah. There's this guy in North Carolina. He was on your um, YouTube. I can't remember his name. Really, really um, nice looking guy, but he was like in his mid 40s. And I reached out to him and I told him I was going to Africa and I'll, you know, let's maybe get together when I get back. And he said that he had like, so many people that had reached out. He had like this pre, like pre-recorded message that he had already typed out. I was like, you better be ready. I think I might take heed to that. <laughs> well, but he was really cute. This. So let hopefully, me, me, hopefully he'll reach out. Let me see dead is with a sneaky ass. Dead is. Shoo, she thought Kendra about to cut her up out of there. She was like, oh, Kendra, hold on. Let me let me tell you this. 
Oh, so you already got a fella in mind. Hmm. Just, just so happened to be in his mid-40s. The age that you say you are dropped down to. Hmm. Nice looking guy. Mm, you mentioned you like nice looking guys. Okay. Okay. So you set Kendra up on this one. You set her up. So let's see how this goes. Let's see if Mr. Mid 40s want the 52 year old. Let's see. What y'all think? Hit me in the comments. What y'all think? You think he's going to hit her up? He want to get with her? You think she got a happy story to tell? I mean, let me know what you think before it starts rolling. Because I'm curious, man. I didn't see all the video. That's why I'm like, eh, I know something, but I saw parts. Give you guys a dose of reality. And this is just real talk. Like, was it the guy? Was it he called him his birthday? I think it was tall. Yeah, he was tall. Really he called cute. him his birthday. He had like, he mm -hmm. spent it with like his grandma or somebody. Um... He was really think, nice looking. Okay. He had he actually had he had um natural hair as well, of course they all have natural hair unless you don't unless you're bald. But he had like, you know, hair like sort of like mine, just not as long. Oh, Twist maybe. He was, was tall, thinking. cute guy. I can't remember his name. Oh, you remember his but name? But he was girl? in North you Carolina. Wanna, and you want an opportunity with I, him? You well, listen, Kendra, it was a while ago. I do so I friended him on Instagram, so we are friends. But I was just going to wait oh, until okay, I got that. Okay, so let me ask you this. You're bringing him up to tell me what? Is he an option? Like, what's the point of bringing him up? Yeah, I would like for him to be an option. So hopefully if he's still watching, then, you know. You don't even know his name. And you want him to be an option? I, yeah, Kendra, I'm going to tell you his name. You want me to tell you his name? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me go to my IG. I don't want to be out any other woman. You even know his name, child. I'm, I know, Kendra. Hold on. I'll tell you. I think this right here will really be the definition of thirst trap. You take an opportunity to get on the talk show, bring up a dude that you evidently fiending over, and you don't even know his real name off top. What kind of mess is this? You 52 years old and you want to holler at a guy. You own international. International. Kendra's international. And you need to holler at this guy. If I was the guy sitting there like, well, shit. If she's so into me, she don't even remember my name. But you sitting here trying to dig up his Instagram and all this to get his name off it. But you into this guy. You didn't send a message to him and everything. As if he's supposed to like, oh, okay, yeah, I hit you back up. But y'all check out why this dude, well, maybe he did. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what happened. I ain't going to take it from you. Kendra, hold on. I'll tell you. Hold They're saying on. Dwight. Was it Dwight? It is Dwight Thompson. Yes. Okay, let me tell you about Dwight Thompson. Uh -oh. and even in the no, not, there's nothing bad. I'm not saying nothing bad. Oh, okay. Um, did you watch his highlight on my show? I did. I watched the actual live show, I think. Okay. I don't think it's a highlight. I want to make sure it's the right one. If, if, if it's the guy that caught on it, it was his actual birthday. It so was his thing. birthday. Okay. I don't remember Dwight's hair, though. His, his hair was like yours? Well, it was it was natural. It was like, you know how the guys are wearing their hair um, in twist. Well, not really twist, but I don't know what you call it. Let he's me see. A, I'm about to go. Okay, I wanna I wanna confirm because you know, um let me let me Yeah, go, go to I'm his go, yeah, because I'm gonna go to my page and see if it's okay. the same. He was on YouTube, right? Yeah, he was on YouTube. He has a picture on Instagram 13 weeks ago, and you'll see his hair. It's like natural What's hair. His name on Instagram? It's oh oh, it's he is Mr. Thompson. That's what it is. Oh, so it was Dwight then. If there, if if it's yeah, was it was Dwight, Dwight Thompson. Thompson. Yeah, it was Dwight Thompson. I just want to pull up on. Um, I think he should be on my I. All oh, right. Well, he's the first guy that I Is saw that I would. Uh, yes. Okay, that was him. him. Okay, probably four thousand women hit up Dwight. <laughs>
I know. That's why I be want. That's why I be wanting. Like I'm just giving y'all the harsh, real reality. Like mm-hmm. I know people was talking shit. Some people were talking shit about him. I already knew Dwight was going to be well. I know how it works on my show. I've been hosting the show for three years, and right. the, the the dose of reality that I want women to realize is a man like Dwight. Got, and I'm not exaggerating, maybe 4,000 women reached out to him. And that's why now he has a pre-recorded message <laughs> that is going out to not be rude because he, he probably can't even respond right, to all of the right. women that reached yeah. out to him. So yeah. I say this to say, nothing wrong with that, but this is why men like Dwight be so picky because you got 4,000 options. So you that's can't right. say, this is what I want. And to me, to me, you can be picky when you have a lot of options, right? right? If you have three or more options of what you desire, then you can be picky because right. you so, have, go ahead. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Kendra. Because you got somebody that's like, well, if you're not willing to do it, then this person willing to do it. So that's right. it's like, it's, I, I ain't no really, ain't, we ain't arguing here. Like, right. you know, so that's to me what options are when you have somebody else that's willing to do what you desire and mm-hmm. um so and dwight was a, a big catch see kendra should have been a little more direct with her she went around the way to say what she was trying to say but she really trying to tell this woman that this man has a lot more options that look better than you that's what she's trying to tell you but she's not getting it she's thinking she's one of the options you, if he's 45 and he got about 4,000 options, he probably has a lot of beautiful women that's younger hollering at him. Why would he want a 52-year-old woman who's stuck in her ways and indecisive and what's all this other shit she said earlier? He's not looking for that. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes the stuff y'all say take y'all right on out. Scratch right across the list. Nope. Yeah, he is. He is. He's, he's very handsome. Um, I, you know, I liked what he talked about. Well, I'll, I'll tell you this. I, I have options as well, Kendra. I do. Um, but they're not all the options that I want. They're not, you know, what I'm interested in. So. You don't have options. Well, not all the options that you want. You have so options, I, but they wouldn't be men that you would date catching this woman up and she's so correct because I, I just made a post the other day about because it was cer- certain women that come so you know I see have certain women sometimes that pop up on Facebook or whatever and they're always posting men in their inbox and all this these bums in my inbox these dusties and all this and I made a, a post and I was like so why do you ladies focus so much on the bum dusty dude in your inboxes, folks, so much on the, those dudes in your inboxes versus the good dudes in your inbox. Or could the case be they are the only ones in your inbox? So then you have to sit back and think, why are those the only type of dudes that's trying to holler at me? What's wrong with me or what I'm doing that only attracts the bum ass dudes? Those are options. They don't qualify. Options qualify. You understand? Y'all stop out here with all this trying to get prop for unqualified dudes. No, they're not men that I would date. So, so then I guess. Options then? Oh, so I guess. Okay, I I get that. I get that. So they're not an option for me. Right. Right. Think, they're not. Listen, an option. I think all women. Let me tell you something. There is not a woman on this planet that have a vagina that cannot have a man. So let's be clear. Right. I, think well, I have woman, interest. Yeah. I have people that are interested. Let's say that. Yeah. If, if you, yeah, but the thing is, are you interested back? No. That's the situation, right? So what mm-hmm. I was saying with Dwight, he has, and when you got 4,000, and most women are, I mean, you're, you're an attractive woman. You know what I'm saying? Thank like, you. you have your natural hair, you're put together. You got your stuff together. So I would say you're pretty much put together, right? But when I was saying options, he might have, and I don't take this the wrong way, but he might mm-hmm. have a hundred women like you. 
<laughs> right. Know, absolutely. I mean, like, absolutely. The, the ratio, unfortunately, is going. That's right. Nowadays. That's exactly right. No, yeah, and right. I, don't, I wouldn't take that the wrong way. I don't take it the wrong way at all. It's always a lesson in everything someone says, whether it's a good lesson or bad. Okay. Kendra, stop saying, I'm not going to stop saying 4,000 because that really is accurate. Yeah, I no, seriously. Wait, no. He I said that. Right. Huh? He said no, he said that he has lot, had a lot of women hit him up and he gave me the he sent me the message that he he said I've shared this message to the original message and then he came back with another message and he said let you know um you know do you want me to read it to you Oh I want to hear it Okay so I just said hi Dwight I'm Jackie I saw your interview with Kendra if interested, please reach out. You know, I'm sure you've you've gotten overwhelming responses since Kendra's show. He said, hello, Jack, Jackie. He said, you're right, more than I deserve. I'm able to handle it. I'm, he said, I'm um, taking the moment to acknowledge everyone who have expressed interest. I value time and effort, so I'm holding myself to the expectation I would have in a partner. I'm sending out the message below to everyone who, I, who have expressed interest. And then I will proceed from there by the end of the week. Right? Okay. You're frozen. I don't know why. I can still hear oh. you. Oh, okay. okay. Probably because I went to his message. Sorry. Oh, that's probably why. Okay. Do this goofy don't... Does she not realize he sent that message to 3,999 other people? Do she know it was a... Like a group text reply? It basically like a reply text. And she thought she had something. You that thirsty? Man. Lady, lady. See, this what happened at 52. When you don't have nobody. You get thirsty. You're not a bad looking woman. You're a very average looking woman. So you can get a guy. But you got all these things, you know, them stubborn ways and don't trust and, you know, not changing, all that crazy stuff. This is why 52 is going to be 53, and then 54. So, Jack, mm -hmm. let me ask you this. Sure. Why is he somebody you will be willing to date other than the men who are trying to really pursue you? Um... That's a good question. Let me think about it for two seconds. I was physically attracted to him. I'm so happy that you said that. I'm so happy that you said that because I think men get bad raps when they talk about how important appearance is for them and dating. No, but hold no, on I gotta be attracted to you. Right, you gotta be attractive. But it's equally, it's, it's actually just as important to women because mm. I have had men that have had great quality on my show, but they mm -hmm. don't have the, they may not have the aesthetics that Dwight may have had. Right. right so I, right. I, I'm so happy that you were honest because that literally is the reason why mm -hmm. so many women are interested in Dwight. He was over six feet, you know, right. he was aesthetically attractive and mm -hmm. you would, I'm just talking to you, but you tell me you have options. So I'm assuming there's men that are literally trying to pursue you that are probably mm -hmm. calling you, that are not sending you a recorded message, but you would rather wait to see how the man with the recorded message could turn out opposed to the men who are genuinely trying to date you. Right. And and because I'm not attracted to them. <laughs> it's funny she said that because uh, maybe Dwight's not attracted to you. Maybe that's why you got the copy and paste message. You see how that works? So I, yeah, that's how that works. Welcome. Yeah. It's just that simple. I mean, I got to be. What's going to happen when you're 70 years old and attractive? No, so, so I'm not going to, I'm not waiting just on him. Trust me. Well, you shouldn't wait I, on nobody. Like, right, say that's this. right. That's right. So, right. So, Kendra, I'm the type of girl, if I see someone that I'm interested in, I will go up to them and introduce myself. Hi, I'm Jackie. 
what's your name? Small talk. I don't have a problem with that. It's just. That's fine. No, no. And Jackie, I'm just, I'm, we're just talking right now. So I, don't, I hope you don't think I'm trying to be hard on you because I'm really not trying to be hard on you. Oh, I don't think so. I don't to, think so. Yeah. I actually, what I enjoy about this conversation, because I want people to start realizing, because it's like, you told me you got men who are literally trying to pursue you and you don't like them, but you would rather, and just be blunt, wait in line. Because mm -hmm. that's what it is. You're in queue. You're mm -hmm. in queue with another guy. And, and you would rather be in queue with another guy to see if that can become something opposed to the men who are really going hard to be with you. But I'm not waiting. But so this is the thing. I'm not waiting on him. It was crazy. I was sitting there thinking the same thing. Like, dude got you sitting up in queue and you thinking that you you, you about to be next. You're like 3,900. <laughs> Click. Nope. 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 And now you're trying to say, no, I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting. You are literally waiting. You came on her show and tried to get a little shout out so he would think about you. You know, brought the man name up and everything. And still talking about her. But you ain't waiting on it. <laughs> yeah, right. But your ass sitting in queue. And, uh, oh, he may have already skipped over you. So. That might be. Well, let me tell you, well, you brought him all the way up. I wouldn't even know that you had well, anything. I only, I only brought him up because he was on your show. So I'm not going to tell you about some random guy that I met on the street because he wasn't on but your you, show. But I think in the case, there was no reason to even bring him up. You never even had a conversation with him, but you would consider, or did you have a conversation? Not, not verbally. I mean. Then you didn't have you a conversation. That ain't hard. Y'all ain't never talk on the phone. No, we never talked but on the phone. But you said out your own mouth, you would be willing to see how that can still turn out. Yeah, I definitely would. I'm not opposed to that, but I'm not sitting there waiting like, oh my gosh, I'm waiting on Dwight to call me. That's not me. Then what are you doing if you're not waiting on him to call you? Because you said that you said that you're open to see how that could be turned out. So wouldn't that be waiting on him to call you? Okay. I think now Kendra about to get into it now. I think I think it finally clicked to Kendra that oh you tried to use the show or use me to holler at this dude because you the one brought him up so now Kendra like digging into it but y'all see let's see what's going on with this man this shit getting good okay so when I okay so I'm not sitting back waiting on just him okay. I'm open to dating. Not just the one. If he never something. calls, if okay, he never me, calls, I I'm, I'm okay with to, that. Let me let me try to. I guess let me try to. This is what I would. This is what I would hope for any woman. Mm -hmm. If a man sent me a cut and paste message that he sent to a hundred women, bitch, I ain't an option. Well, so let me well, hold on, so hold on, pause, pause. So what I would. So I would hope that mm -hmm. if a guy sent you a cut and paste option. You yourself would no longer be interested. Not well, and that's why I never back, reached back out. Back you want to keep over talking, but I need you to hear. I'm sorry. Uh oh, did she just Kevin Samuels her? Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like it. I'm because sorry. Because he because he, he was up an option. What I'm right. saying is, if someone sent me a cut and dry message he sent to a thousand women, I'm not even an option. You ain't right. got it. I'm not the option. Go be right. with the other thousand. That's what right. I'm trying to hope because the guy I receive that, it. I receive that, Kendra. I receive the guy that. That's pursuing you to me would be more attractive than the guy that sent me a cut and paste message he right. sent to all these women in the world. So I definitely receive that for sure, and I'll. When I received that message from him, I was like, you know, I I felt like you felt like. But you also, I don't want to. You only reason we know about this because you brought him up and you brought him up as an option. So let's be clear. Hey, what what she should have added on her bad things that she she has, uh, lying, because uh, you sit here telling a lie to my. I felt like you did. No, you didn't. You were hoping because the man hadn't made, because the week hadn't ended out or whatever that time frame was, and he hadn't made a decision yet. That's the only reason 
you brought him up and you had all this stuff ready to tell Kendra because he hadn't made a decision in your mind, but he already passed you up. He done, he done seen you. He done seen your profile. He done saw your message. He responded. You done. If you was an option in his eyes, he would have said something. But you're done. There's no extra. That's it. No more potato salad. That's it. Move out. Get out the kitchen. Right. So I'm not I'm not trying to double back on anything. I thought he was very attractive. Right. If I saw him in the street and I said hi to him, I would talk to him. If he calls, I would talk to him. But that doesn't mean that I'm sitting back. Wait. That's it right there. You ain't. I'm not talking to you. If you send me a cut and dry message, absolutely hell to the north. Are you kidding? <laughs> okay, I get it. I received that. I received that. A cut and dry message you sent to a thousand women. Right. You right. Ain't never called me. <laughs> Are you crazy? Well, he doesn't. He doesn't have my number. He doesn't have my number. So I would be turned off but, that second. And I, okay, I receive I received that, Kendra. I received that. Well, because he's fine. That's why you would talk to him. And that's no, 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 no. I didn't say he was fine. I said he was. I said he was attractive. I said he was attractive. You would give him yeah. an opportunity still because he's still attractive. What I'm saying is no. stop being. Hold on. You said, girl. What are, you said you would if he called you, you would answer. You said that. Right. right. For sure. So, for sure. Because, because I'm attractive. still. Right. Let me but Kendra. Pause. Pause. The other man sure. that's pursuing you, they couldn't treat you that way. A not attractive no. man couldn't treat you that way. So don't make room for the attractive man to treat you that way. Okay, I received you that. Wouldn't let, you wouldn't let a broke guy treat you that way. You wouldn't let a guy you're not attracted to treat you that way. So don't let a man, because he's attractive, treat you that way. Right, but I... I am so glad she said that. Because so many guys have been saying, I don't know, maybe Kendra done heard it. And realize, like, that is true. They really do. They will have all these rules and policies and what they're not going to do. But if he got money and look good, all that's thrown out the window. To include cheating. Because all the women will say, oh, I'll leave him if he cheat, if he cheat. What if he was a millionaire? Well, uh, exactly. Exactly. It's just whatever the position that person is. So you really can forgive and let shit go at the right price. This chick done. I, this but see, I, I don't think you under... I'm not allowing him to treat me that way because he is attractive. I just said that he was attractive. You asked me... Um, why are you allowing a man why was I interested? Okay, and so I said, I thought he was attractive. I was just being right. honest. So like, huh? Explain to me, explain to me why a man can call you after he sent you a cut and dry paste message that he sent to a thousand women. I can't. Um, and there's no explanation for it. Well, there is explanation for it. You're just not willing to admit it. Cause like I just said, a broke man couldn't treat you that way. An ugly man couldn't treat you that way. So no. you would do it because he's a. I had, but Kendra, I've had, I've had. Oh wait, the guy that I was just with was broke. But did he send you? I'm asking you, did he send you a cut and dry? No, he didn't. He so, didn't. And, and would he you? Didn't. And would you talk to him still? Okay, now check this out, and this is what I've I've always noticed. These women come on here and always talk about the next man need to make a hundred k drive a certain this, have all this glamorous stuff, but your last man you just said was broke. So how in the H do you get from being with a broke man to now needing a man that making so much money? And you just broke up this man this year because you said like February. So you didn't say last year or whatever. Whatever year that was that past February. So you just broke up with this broke man that you've been with who knows how long. And you gave up your body because you said that's the last time you was intimate. But the new guy need to make all this money, have all this stuff. And you spot one good guy on a video and you're locked in thinking you're going to get him. There's a reason why you're alone at 52. Now, I'm not trying to be funny, but something's not right. That's why Kendra like something's not right. And she's trying to backpedal up out of this. 
and she don't know how. Because you just sat up here and said, if he's good looking and got money, he can treat you however. And that's why some of y'all end up in these situations when y'all got one of these good looking dudes that's dragging you out here. And the guys that's really would treat you nice, you don't want them. But this good looking guy with money, he don't care about you because he got five or six more. That's what Kenner trying to tell this knucklehead. The man got 3,000 women trying to holler at him. Why are you sitting up here in a queue with a copy and paste message of hope? You get me what I'm saying? Kenner said, you looking like a fool sitting up here waiting on this man. This man done moved on. He ain't thinking about you. You done brought his whole name up and everything on this, on this show. And the man sent you a copy and paste message. You made a fool out yourself. Period. Most of you do. But hey, she definitely did. And you at 52 years old, still getting played. Who, the, the guy that I was just with? Girl, it's okay. You got to live in your world. I, we get off tangent. But no, let's go. Everything you said, Kendra, I'm receiving. And no, seriously, everything you said, I am receiving. And I see where you're coming from. And I will definitely, t I'm listening. How about that? It's all good. We got to go. No, you really, op you opened my eyes to a different perspective, Kendra. Okay, fair enough. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Jackie, South Carolina, um, a cancer, a nurse, two boys. How can a guy reach out to you, honey? Um, he I know one way they won't be. That's not on here. Nah, can't do it on here. I'm sorry about that. But, guys, what do y'all think about this? Ladies, what do you think? The whole conversation, the whole thing, what do y'all think, man? Really, what do y'all think about this? Hit me in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. That's, uh, to me, it's, oh, that's a waste of time. Waste of her good time. But uh, you know how it is. Well, fellas, ladies, it's time for me to get up out of here. And with all that being said, don't y'all forget, hit that subscribe, like, share, definitely comment, and like the video. And as always and always, it is your boy. Mr. Nobody. And I am up out of here. Y'all stay vibing. Peace.